So I really want to talk to you about this because it's very important. So in today's conversation, I want to speak to you about how to get a personal loan with better fair credit and a large amount from PNC Bank. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee you. another edition of the awesome sort of QA show how are you today i hope you're all doing fantastic i'm doing marvelous if you ought to ask me if you are doing as great as i am go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll <laughs> in today's discussion i want to speak to you about how to get a, a pnc personal loan with bad or fair credit and a large amount the first thing you need to do is you need to explore all PNC loans, right? So PNC Bank has a constellation of loans. So if you want to have, let's say you are looking for a specific PNC personal loan and you have bad or fair credit, you need to have an idea of what kind of loan you, you are looking for, right? So PNC loans, PNC Bank has uh, several loans. So they have a personal installment loan. This is where you borrow money and you pay it back through regular monthly payments. And they have a personal line of credit. So this is where you access funds whenever you need to up to an approved credit limit. Okay. And I want to quickly talk about the personal line of credit. So this is an unsecured and customizable personal loan. So basically PNC bank will just uh, put some a little amount of cash at your, at your disposal and the amount will, will oscillate. So it will go all the way to $25,000 depending on your credit worthiness. And uh, you can actually access the money whenever you need without the collateral requirements of other financing options. So this is pretty good. And the cool thing here is that if you have uh, questions about the line of credit, the loan, or any uh, any type of uh, funding arrangement with uh, PNC, just contact their customer service number. They're very, very, very responsive. And the number is 1-877-CALL-PNC. Another um, type of credit that you might be interested in is called a PNC investment line of credit this is where if you have an account with them if you have a an investment account a brokerage account with pnc bank you can use your uh, investments you can use your stocks your bonds your ets your mutual funds as collateral for the loan so this is really good and i want to quickly let's just quickly compare and contrast personal loan and line products so for the personal installment loan with pnc the loan will fluctuate between one thousand dollars and thirty five thousand for the personal line of credit, it's one thousand to twenty-five thousand, and for the investment line of credit, it's twenty-five thousand to five million. Again, it depends upon what you have in your uh, brokerage account, right? The APR oscillates. For for the personal installment loan, the APR is fixed, and uh, but for the uh, others, it it actually oscillates. The second thing you need to do, you need to focus now on the PNC personal loan. Because the first, in the first step, we had an idea of uh, the different types of uh, credit programs that PNC Bank has, right? So they have a personal line of credit, they have investment line of credit, and they have a personal loan. Now let's talk about the, the loan itself, the personal loan. And this is a loan you can qualify for even if you have a bad or fair credit. Not a problem. So we have the unsecured personal loan. And this is a, an installment loan with no collateral required, right? And you get the cash you need without using your property or anything else. And the fixed rate can be as low as 5.99%. And it will go all the way to 28.74%. If you have bad or fair credit, you're probably thinking about 12%. You probably will be around 12 or 13%. And that's what we've seen in our research, okay? And the rates are based on a 36-month term and minimum loan amount of $15,000. As I said earlier, the, the, the loan will oscillate between 1000 and 35000 okay? And uh, the rates include a 0.25% interest rate discount for automated payments from a PNC checking account. So you want to sign up for AutoPay, definitely, okay? And one thing I want to say here is this is a big decision time. Let me just ask you a question. Do you really need the PNC uh, personal loan right now? Do you have bad credit or fair credit? And have, do you currently have a, a loan or any type of 
a credit product with uh, PNC Bank? In other words, do you have a mortgage, for example? Do you have a credit card, for example? This is important because uh, PNC Bank is going to look at you and look at the constellation of a credit the, of a risks that you pose to them. If you already have two or three debt products with them, they might be a little reluctant to uh, give you another loan. But if you don't, then it's really good. Okay? How do you apply for a PNC personal installment loan? You have? Do they need your uh, your full your full name, your social, your date of birth, the dollar amount that you want to borrow? One form of photo ID, it could, this could be a driver's license, state-issued ID, or U.S. passport. And you want to know your previous address, and that is if you are at your current address for less than two years, and your annual income and any other income to be considered. I'll just uh, elaborate a little on up, upon those uh, criteria. And if you are applying with a co-applicant, they want to have also their current address and previous if less than two years, and the annual income and any other income that you want us, you want PNC to consider when uh, evaluating the loan application. Let's have a quick conversation about step number three. So, folks, I'm I'm explaining to you how to get a large, unsecured, personal loan from PNC Bank with a bad or fair credit. The third step you want to take is open one or two accounts. This is so important, folks. We are talking about establishing a relationship with PNC Bank. If you have bad credit or fair credit, chances are you, you, the, the odds of approval are already slim. So what you want to do is you want to really put some uh, strong arguments in your favor. And if you open one or two accounts, this is a great. This will go a long way towards allowing you to enter the PNC Bank loan program, if you will. So you want to open a checking account. So with the PNC Bank, they have a, a bevy of uh, checking accounts that you might choose. For example, they have what they call a virtual wallet, and uh, and that includes now the low cash mode. This is just an attempt at PNC, the, the an attempt by PNC to combine traditional checking with uh, innovative fintech oriented checking, and they've done a great job at that. So it's called a virtual wallet. Okay, that that's for checking. And uh, with that, you have what they call intelligent alerts, payment control, and extra time. Then they have a savings. In terms of savings products, they have the virtual wallet, okay? They have the premier money market account, the standard savings account, the certificates of the uh, certificate of deposit. They have the IRA, the individual retirement accounts, and what they have, the S is for savings. What we love about PNC Bank is that when it comes to savings, they do have a variety of products that will suit any borrower or any clients for that matter. And what you want to do here is that, of course, you need to have a, the checking account. The checking account, you want to have it for strategic purposes because you want to put a lot of cash, you know, with uh, with a PNC. And you also want to benefit from the auto pay, right? So that's number one. Number two, you need to have the savings account. So that's why I said you need to have at least one account. So savings account, you can choose between the premier money, mar uh, money market account and uh, the deposit ranges from uh, $100 up to $10,000. You can have standard savings and uh, the initial deposit is 25 bucks, okay? The CD, the, uh, there is no range, but you, 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 can, you have to lock the, 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 the amount from seven days to 10 years and you have the IRA. So you need to see your liquidity needs, your, how, how much cash you need, whether you need cash in the short run or in the long run, but you gotta have something, folks. As I always say here, if you have a skinny FICO, if you have a skinny FICO, you better have a fat checking account or savings account. So you need to start working on that aspect of things right now. Step number four, folks. We are still talking about how to get a large PNC personal loan with a fair or bad credit. Step number four, you wanna get your act together. And we've seen a lot of folks who, they apply for a loan with a traditional bank or just any lender for that matter, and they're not prepared. They act like they are just uh, so surprised about the requirements of uh, the loan. That's kind of crazy, so you don't want this to happen to you. What one thing you have to be very careful about is that you need to know, you need to know the requirements of uh, the loan especially because PNC bank underwriters will pay attention. So you want to make sure that you go through the loan application. You can get the loan application uh, from a branch 
or they can email them to you. It can email that to you. And you want to make sure all the information on the loan application is accurate, right? Everything from your name, address, your income data, your uh, your situation, all that kind of stuff. Okay. And they, they want to have a proof of, a, of, a, of a identity. Now, one thing I want to say here is that even if you don't, you don't have a driver's license, a lot of folks believe they need to have a driver's license to qualify for a loan. No, if you have a passport or you have any kind of state issued ID, even a birth certificate will qualify you in terms of a proof of identity, of course. And they want to see income and uh, employer verification, right? So things like your pay stubs, your tax returns, your W-2s and 1099s, those are important your bank statements, and uh, in some cases, PNC wants to have your employer's contact information in case you are employed. And if you are self-employed, they want to have your bank statements, your 1099s, and your income tax returns, okay? And they also want to have proof of address. And proof of address is kind of easy to, uh, to supply, to provide, if you will. You can actually use your last utility bills. This could be electricity, could be gas, could be water, whatever it is. And if you have a, a lease or rental agreement, this will qualify to you too, right? So if you, the agreement, the lease that you sign when entering your current apartment, or if you have your uh, your mortgage statement, that will be that will be cool as well. And you can use a proof of insurance on your home, lease, rental, or a vehicle. Or if you have a voter registration card, okay? So those are things that you, you wanna really pay attention. When I speak about getting your act together, this is what I really mean. You gotta be prepared for any question, any any comments that a PNC bank will make upon your application, especially if they request additional evidence. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Studio Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about how to get a large, a massive PNC personal loan for a bad or fair credit. Step number five, folks, you want to check your credit score. This is important. Let me ask you a question. This is a big decision time. Do you know your FICO score for real? For real. I'm not asking you to give me uh, any kind of uh, approximation here. Do you have your your accurate FICO score? It's a big question. And chances are, you'll be really surprised, but a lot of folks don't have a clear idea of their FICO. They may have like some kind of a approximate number in mind, but is that really like 580, is, is 580 the same thing as 625 or 610? So my point here is that you want to really check your credit score to make sure you not only have the right information, that you know what the lender is going to see, but also to uh, spot any potential trace or any potential uh, evidence of identity theft, right? Because if you start, if you look at your uh, your credit reports and you realize that you know somebody's open, somebody's opening an account in your name, then you can actually know that you you have been a victim of uh, identity theft, and you can actually fix the the problem. But if you have no information, you can't fix the problem, right? This is just pure logic. So you want to check your credit score, your credit report once a year. There is a website called annualcreditreport.com. And that website will actually provide the information you need on your credit report for free. And you can get the data from all the three credit bureaus. Okay, this is very important. And um, another thing you want to do here is that by actually, um, if you don't get uh, the data from annualcreditreport.com, or you want extra because the data from uh, annualcreditreport.com is not always uh, complete. You can pay for the, you, you can contact each of the three credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion and ask to, to buy a credit, a credit report. Now you might say this is, I don't wanna waste time, I don't wanna waste money, but listen, if, you, if you're spending $25 to get uh, an accurate picture of your credit, this could save you literally hundreds of dollars on your loan or when it comes to interest on your PNC bank loan. So it is worth it. Step number six, folks, what we want to do here is that after you do all those things, I want you to contact the PNC banker. It's important if you want to get a large PNC personal loan 
with bad or fair credit, having a conversation with uh, an insider, if you will, is going to help you tremendously. Go to a branch if possible, okay? There are a lot of things you can talk about when uh, having this conversation with uh, the PNC banker. For example, you can ask you can uh, ask the banker how much you could qualify for it based on your credit profile. And the, another question is, how much do you need personally? Do you need, because uh, the this loan, the maximum limit here is $35,000, right? But do you need 35 grand? Do you need 20 G? Do you need 10 G? How much do you need? And uh, do you, in, do you want to do you want to consolidate your current debt, or do you need the cash for or something else? And in case you want to consolidate, do you want the PNC to directly pay your creditors or send money to them, or get the cash in your account? And how long would you have to would you have to take uh, would you have to pay your uh, personal loan from PNC back? Right, we've seen cases where PNC approved folks for thirty six months. Some cases are 24 months, some cases 48 months. It really depends upon the geography and the credit worthiness of the clients. As you know, PNC applies different banking rules and lending rules depending on the states where they're operating, right? And that makes sense. And you have to think also about whether or not the personal loan from PNC has fees. And this is the only information you can get from the, the this is this kind of info. You can only get it from an, a banker at PNC. I mean, I'm speaking about things like uh, origination fee. I'm thinking I'm thinking about administration fee, processing fees, all that kind of stuff. Now, it's important because at face value, a lot of folks believe that those fees are very small. But when they are cumulative, when they are aggregated, they could run somewhere from a 1% to 5% of the face value of the loan. And this is huge, okay? What I'm trying to say here is that if you get approved, say, for a $10,000 credit limit, let's say a loan, and you have a 5% uh, origination fee, you're only getting $9,500. In, in other words, the uh, the loan processor is uh, keeping 500 500 being 5% of 10000 okay? Step number seven, folks. Now, what you want to do here is you want to apply. So after having talked to uh, the banker, after having established a relationship, open a bank account and or a savings account, having done all that, it's time now to apply for a large PNC personal loan with bad or fair credit. And I, and I want you to look on the screen right now. I strongly encourage you to apply at a branch or over the phone. Okay. I'm, I'm only showing you the online application here so you have an idea of what you need, okay? And uh, by phone, you can apply by uh, dialing 1-877-225-5762, 1-877-225-5762. And uh, they're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern, and Saturdays to Sunday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern, okay? And, you, and but. Our preference here is uh, that you go to a branch. So let's just get started here. As you can see on the screen, if you had a, if you have an account with PNC, you can just go right away into the whole thing. But if you don't, they want you to they want you to apply without uh, signing up. But if you are an existing client, they will use that information that you already pre pre filled to uh, accelerate things. So second slide here. So bottom line here is that you can apply. You can apply uh, for a PNC bank loan at any time without being a customer, but it is strongly encouraged. So, as you can see on the screen, the first screen here, they want you. They ask you your name, your first name, last name, your date of birth, your social, the the ID type you want to supply, the driver's license or your password, whatever it is, the issuing state, and the ID number and the expiration date. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then they want to ask question about your uh, your uh, Ownership, whether you rent or own the, the amount of uh, money you spend every month, the address, your address. The next slide, we have employment information. So here they want to have an idea about uh, your occupation, your employer, how much money you make uh, every year, how long you've been, we've been working there is for PNC. This is kind of good to have uh, an idea of tenure and they want to have your contact information, your email, your work phone, your primary phone. And it's contact preference 
And next, you want they, what they're asking you if you want to add a co borrower, a co borrower, right? This is important to in case you have a co applicant, go ahead and just uh, add the person there. Next, you have to put in the loan detail how much you want to borrow, the repayment terms. Uh, the loan purpose right the loan purpose can be anything major purchase it can be debt consolidation it could be um it could be anything so based on that you could see that the pnc already gave me an idea of how much i'll be paying based on the thirty thousand dollars loan request i inputted you can see here the, the monthly payments and the apr and loan disbursement is kind of cool so you want to click next you so here you want to review the application so step number one, um, screen number, screenshot number one, screenshot number two, screenshot number three. So after reviewing everything, you have to click next, and then you have the agreement. You just uh, sign. I mean, sign electronically, of course. You click on I, I agree and accept, and you click submit. All right, folks. This was it for today's conversation. I was talking to you about how to get a large. PNC personal loan for a bad or fair credit and how to get a fast uh, step number one You want to explore or all PNC loans Number two you want to focus on the PNC personal loan Number three you want to open two one or two accounts number four you want to get to your act together Number five you want to check your credit score Number six you want to contact the PNC banker and uh, Number seven you want to apply Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.